Well, Summer, as you can imagine, it's been an overwhelmingly emotional day for Barbara Poma the owner of Pulse nightclub. She said her, she's heartbroken for all the victims in Las Vegas and many people in the Pulse community who witnessed what happened outside this nightclub are coming together today to show their support. It brings you back to your very darkest place really quickly. The mass shooting in Las Vegas brings back painful memories for many in Orlando, including the owner of Pulse nightclub, Barbara Poma. All those emotions of the terror, the sadness, the heartbreak, the loss of life, feeling you have for the families and the survivors, just all the, the, the chaos. The stories in Las Vegas of friends protecting each other, of families searching for missing loved ones are all devastatingly familiar. It's not something we get over, it's just something we get through and um, they're not alone. Even though they feel really alone, I'm sure. In a show of support, Pulse survivors gathered outside the nightclub Monday. We know that pain and we are so sorry that you are enduring and have endured it for the loss of those lives and those that got, got wounded. A community still healing from one tragedy, prepared to help another. We know what it was like to receive the support we received. Um, and although we are still going through it ourselves, that we're here for them. Now, Barbara Poma tells me she's still exploring the best ways for the One Pulse Foundation to reach out to Las Vegas and help them, but she says they'll be ready to do whatever they can. There is a vigil tonight at Lake Eola at 730. Many Pulse survivors will be gathering there. There are counselors available at the GLBT Center and at the Orlando United Assistance Center. Reporting live, Amanda Crawford, Rush 2 News.